Hi guys, welcome to Ask a Little Witch. My name's Kerry and this is my month of July. Pick a card and comment below. Okay, so how it works. So on the screen, there are nine cards, A to I. And all you have to do is select a card that you're most drawn to. Now, some people are drawn to multiple cards and you can totally do that too. Um, but I always say go with the first one that kind of springs to mind, the one that jumps out to you. Okay, so once you've done that, I want you to pause this video. And then I want you to comment below with your chosen card. And in a moment, I'm going to reveal to you what those cards are and what they mean specifically to you. It's one of those mysterious things that I hope if you do follow your own intuition and you select the card that kind of first jumps out, it should hopefully relate to you and this month of July. Now, the card that I actually pulled in relation to the whole of month of July that will hopefully relate to a lot of people and in terms of astrologically speaking is um, the card of the fall. Now the quote that kind of came and sprung to mind was Leo Zhu's beautiful beginnings are often disguised by painful endings and I really just think that this is what this month's all about. Okay so without further ado hopefully by now you have commented below with your choice and the card that kind of jumped out to you and now i'm going to move on to what those cards mean and let me know if they relate to you throughout the month okay so if you selected card a then you actually got the card of heartache and loss reversed this card comes at a time where you're not aware that your pain hurt or issues from the past are deeply affecting your present and your future it's a time where we need to let go of things completely forgiveness is not about them but for you so you can be open to the greatness that wants to enter your life stop blaming others situations for how things and how you like feel and take responsibility for your own happiness after all happiness is a choice and a change of perception may be what really keeps you from living in the lack and living in abundance love yourself first before giving your love to someone else you really do have to love yourself before someone else of an equal standing of the kind of love that you want will enter your life Acknowledging the pain from the past really does unlock the key to understanding. Look at the patterns that reappear in your life and ultimately you'll find that solution to the issue. Something that once you notice a pattern, you can then change it. Um, obviously it takes time, but there is a need to work through this to really finally let it go um, in the month of July. Okay, so if you selected card B, then you got the card of Love Begins. Now, this is a really beautiful card, which coincides with the whole Venus conjunct Jupiter vibe that's kind of going on in the cosmos. It's a card of self-love also, and knowing like attracts like. In the sign of Leo, we must honour ourselves completely. Only then do we attract someone worthy of us. And this card most certainly does indicate that someone is entering your life. It's a card of a new beginning, one of which will keep growing as long as you don't remain kind of complacent and take charge of yourself and your feelings and really try to keep the balance, keep everything flowing. And you know that it's a card of love and like they're pouring the water back into the river and everything's kind of moving on now. It's moving forward. It's this new chapter of your life. And if you selected card C, then you got emotional withdrawal reversed. So this is a card that indicates something is missing. But is it really missing? This card indicates you're running away without kind of dealing with the heart of the issue. You would rather just leave what you have than work at it. Relationships are about growth. Without growth, it dies. So do not allow it to die because you may later regret it. You need to face your own feelings and emotions and really allow yourself to be open, honest and show who you are on the inside and to not really, to try to not really get scared. You're being asked to be vulnerable and honest, be open and as direct as possible. So don't beat around the bush, don't leave hints and clues, you know, you really need to just be open and say what it is that you need and how it is that you're feeling. And accept what the other person has to say back as well, openly. 
Okay, so if you selected card D, then you got the card of the crown chakra. So this card indicates that you know. It's as easy as that. I mean, if you've asked a question when picking, you already know the answer to it. If you've asked for guidance, they're telling you to trust in the signs and your own intuition as it will not lead you wrong. This card also encourages you to do the right thing. No need to follow but to lead, to be authentic and real with yourself and believe in what it is that you want to achieve and you shall. But, you know, first you must know it. You know, ultimately you need to know. Knowing is believing, you know, it comes from the mind. Um, if you're not sure in what to do, ask the question in your mind and the very first thing that kind of springs into your mind, the very first thing, that's your intuition talking. So trust in that. And, you know, after that comes your logical mind, comes your ego and everything else kind of steps in and kind of deters you from that. But if you ask initially, you know, what what do I need to do? That very first, whether it's a feeling, whether it's an inner voice speaking through you, that very first thing is a thing that you want to listen to. Okay, so card E. Card E is material um, and spiritual prosperity reversed. So this is a card for those who go above and beyond to appease everyone else but yourself. It's time to turn towards yourself and give you what you need. You can't help anyone without first helping yourself. You might even feel confused or not sure how to keep the balance between others and yourself safe. Um, the winner never gets the prize when playing it safe. So, you know your own worth. You're worthy of what it is that you want. You need to believe that. It also points to the fact that you have to work hard at making yourself happy because you will not feel happy if you're giving more and more of yourself to other people and especially those who do not even deserve what it is that you're giving. Be clear, you know, be aware and do not give more than you have at this time. It's a time where you need to really recoup. When it comes to business, you may have to rely on you to get things done. You know, work hard. Show Saturn ultimately that, you know, you know what it takes and Saturn will reward you. This card can also point to a decision that you should make. But sitting on the fence, hoping someone else will make it for you is not the way to go about it. In relationships, you're playing it safe as well. It could indicate that. And the winner never gets the prize with, when playing it safe. So you know your own worth. You know that you're worthy. Um, you need to know that you're worthy of what it is that you want. So it's not a time to sit on the fence because it could so happen to be that the other person's doing exactly that. And if neither of you kind of step up and say something or do something or actively tilt, the scales one way or the other then nothing's ever going to happen you know you're always going to remain neither moving forward neither moving backwards so you know make your choices stay on point believe in your own self-worth you know you need to know that you're worthy of the thing that you want otherwise you're never going to get it okay so if you went with card f then you got the third eye chakra reversed now what with neptune in retrograde it's not a time to self-doubt okay the illusions and the confusion has been wiped clear you should be able to see things in a clear manner so stop second guessing that that inner knowing that you know to be right it's right okay intuition comes with a flash and then the logical mind kind of takes over so pay attention to your dreams because neptune rules over dreams you know and they can really give you a big indication as to what's really going on with you and your situation and your life you know so pay attention to those um especially if you're a water sign or you have a lot of neptune energy in your birth chart i'd also say that this card is indicating to trust yourself um now, I know that might sound or you might even feel a little bit crazy, but that intuition is your heart and it does not, you know, it doesn't lie. It tells you exactly what it is that's true and it's going to give you a little insight into what your eyes cannot see. Okay, so if you went with card G, then you got the card of partnership and alliance. Now, this could be a month where you sign a new contract, new endeavours, a leap of faith. Um, ask yourself, though, will this transition make you happy? 
not just now but in the future it's time to get real honest and ask yourself what you're giving your energy to where you're giving your energy too much or where you're not applying enough of it and ask yourself ultimately does it make you happy or are you just rolling with emotions a new partnership and alliance could also be made at this time this card for me always points to a waiting as well so something unforeseen gets in the way a little obstacle that you just have to wait it out or work it out and in the long run if it's for the best then you know it means good things will come so ultimately you know you might have signed something or you might have decided upon something but you have to really wait now and um, for the month of july for things to really get off the ground there could be some sort of unforeseen thing that kind of comes out of nowhere and kind of makes you have to reorganize things reanalyze things and you know and if you selected card h then you got the card of movement decisions and choices so decisions decisions um this card kind of says that you could go on a journey one that will open up even more doors and more opportunities for you that will leave you with ultimately another choice to make and i think this choice could be a very important one this is a kind of activity lots of things happening almost at the same time um it's a busy period it's a great time but keeping all of those things kind of up in the air keeping everything you know in balance heading in the right direction it could be a lot of hard work so see what takes priority and ensure you're prioritizing correctly pros and cons needing to look at this as a very exciting month to come but definitely a lot going on so plenty going on having to keep everything up in the air um quite a busy 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 time ultimately with lots of decisions and opportunities coming your way but I would say make sure you're prioritising correctly, making sure you're doing things that ultimately is going to lead you towards that end goal that you have, rather than being distracted by all the arrows. Okay, so lastly, if you selected card I, you got victory and success reverse. So if you've been looking for your lucky break, then, you know, this is a month that it could be for you. But of course, you need to be looking. Things very rarely fall into our laps. It's a time of recognition, be that at work or in your personal life. It can point to a little bit of extra money as well, and um, be that again through savings, deals, offers, or even a promotion or a bonus. This card points to success. Your hard work will certainly pay off, so keep the pace up. Now, the fact that it's reversed, I would say maybe you're not paying attention to just how lucky you are. Maybe you're not seeing those offers, those opportunities. You're not seeing the recognition. You're not seeing the reward that you're getting. You're not noticing that, you know, you're actually heading forward. You're moving forward in the direction of your goals. You know, this is like the first hurdle. And, you know, it's about recognizing that within yourself. You know, look how far you've come ultimately. So those were the cards for the month of July. I truly, truly hope that you can relate to your card. Um, please let me know in the comments below if this card relates to you throughout the month. And yeah, please subscribe to all my other social networking sites. Google+, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Blogger, Tumblr. Um, on Facebook, I do give away a free mini reading every Wednesday. I post up daily horoscopes as well on all of my social networking sites. And I also have five star tarot astrology readings from the reviews that I've so far received on my Facebook page. So please subscribe below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much. Bye.